Hey guys, the objectives for this video is to look at limit state design, being serviceability and strength, and load combinations. This is just a very uh, brief introductory, uh, introductory theory video. Uh, in the next couple of videos, we're going to be looking at a very comprehensive example. The stuff for this video can be found in AS1170.0. The first thing we're going to be looking at is limit states. So the first type of limit state we have is the ultimate limit state or the strength. This is just what we need to ensure that our members don't fail. So the ultimate limit state is literally the ultimate ultimate until it fails. The rule looks like this. We want phi r to be greater than e. Phi is a factor, r is the capacity, and e is the loading. So we want to make sure that our capacity times by some type of factor is greater than the loading. So what we do is, the factor, say we have like a concrete column, right? The capacity might be the, is the capacity of, of the concrete until it fails. So it's like 32 MPA, okay? Now, what we do is, is we artificially scale down that capacity to make, we, we do that, so it, it um, forces us to create an even sturdier and stronger item when we're making sure and designing that we're looking at the loading, okay? So, once again, Normally, you want the capacity just to be greater than loading. To make us design more conservatively, we put this factor out the front, which scales down the capacity, which forces us to make the capacity of the member stronger than it is. Another way to think about it is if we divide through by phi, okay? So if we have um, the loading of, say, 600 kilonewtons, okay? So say we had 600 kilonewtons in our column. If we divide through by 0.8 now, say that was our factor, Instead of having 600, we now have 750 kilonewtons on our column. So you can see that this factor has now increased. It's artificially increased the amount of load we have on our column, which, need, which forces us to make our column stronger than it would have been if we didn't have that factor. Okay, so that factor essentially just artificially um, increases the if it, it artificially increases the load, so it makes you design a stronger element. Just to show you some like simple examples.